Let's see how time announcements work. Time announcements are a feature of Scheduler Advanced. Right now we're in Scheduler Basic. If you registered Scheduler, it will always be Scheduler Advanced, but we're going to go to Trial and switch to Advanced. This adds commands. Normally you would only have uh, Pick, Fill, and Load. With Scheduler Advanced you get all of these extra commands. Let's change this first uh, command in our soft hour that we used in other tutorials. Let's switch this over to be a time announcement. And I'm going to make it an interrupt at the top of the hour. And that's all there is to it. Now you don't have to have an interrupt for a time announcement. Let me actually put another time announcement in here. We'll do this one right after our music and before the next jingle and before we go back to music. So there's another time announcement there. So what time announcements do is they look for time announcements in a special time announcement folder. That time announcement folder is in your home music radiologic folder. Uh, recently in radiologic I added a convenience menu item to go find that radiologic folder. So in there you will find a time announcement folder. It may be empty. Um, the time announcements need to be recorded by you or you can download some from the Radiologic website. Go on the help menu, we can go to the Radiologic website, go to the download page, and you can download these time announcements. They'll come in as a zip file. You can unzip that. Oh, it's scheduling for us right now. Great, we can see the example in a moment. And uh, it will uh, you'll expand that zip file and you'll get a, a new time announcement folder. Replace the old time announcement folder with the new and you will have a bunch of time announcement files. A file here explaining how all of this works. And basically what you have are time announcements for 12 a.m. to 11.59 um, p.m. Although they're, uh, they don't announce a.m. or p.m. so we do 720 without the a.m. or p.m. And they start off with uh, uh, the first two digits being the hour and the second two digits being the minute. So this would work for 12 o'clock a.m. or p.m. And uh, over here we have 244. These are more obvious. Whether it's a.m. or p.m., 725, et cetera, et cetera. So that program we just uh, edited here actually just scheduled and it put the time announcement as the first item. It's an interrupt. Compared to other videos where you may have seen an interrupt with it being red, this one's green. The interrupt in the previous videos had it actually having to interrupt actual tracks that were playing and fade them out. In this case we're starting from silence so the interrupt in this case is green. It's not actually interrupting anything. And we look here and we see here's another time announcement. This comes from a script line set to 312. But if I move this around, you'll actually see that the time announcement actually changes to 319. So it goes to the correct time. Let's move it up a little further. Put it up here. It should change again to 328, which is at 328. Now these update, update very dynamically. So even if I were to sit here and let's say fire this track right now, even though it's in queue, it says it's 3 o'clock, we're at 242 right now. If I were to fire this, it should fire 242, right? Is it that fast? Let's see. It's 242. Yes, it all is. Chance, all day, all night, you're listening to Radiologic Trance. So that's how time announcements work. You have your time announcements in the folder. You just simply put the time commands where you want them to be and they will fire the time at those times. So, so remember, if you want to have a, a time announcement, you have to get to that time first. So you need those building blocks to get there. So this time announcement is always going to be 12 minutes to 15 minutes after the hour. I place another time announcement in here. 
We'll put this uh, right before that jingle there. Uh, this time announcement's always going to announce, let's say, 327, 328, 329, probably not up to 330. You get the idea, so that's how that works. There are a couple other things you can do with time announcements. You can use my time announcements. You can record your own. Uh, I found you can probably get it all done in about three hours once you get into a routine. And um, it might take a little bit longer than that to edit them to your satisfaction, but uh, it is a little bit laborious. Besides the 12 hours that I supply, it also supports 24 hours. So if you do want to announce AM and PM, or uh, if you want to announce your times and military time, you can do that. Uh, just keep making time files that go 12.00, 12.01, and uh, the first set of files will be the AM part, and the later ones will be the PM part. You could say I'm in military time or AM and PM, but in order for that to be supported, we need to go in System Preferences, go to Language and Region, and make sure a time format is actually 24-hour time. That way it will know to look for that 24-hour format that we have down here. There's one more thing you can do. You can actually uh, have time announcements for, let's say, an internet station where your listeners are all over the world and you don't necessarily want to announce your time zone. You can have our agnostic files. What you would do for our agnostic is you would make the hour XX and then uh, make 60 of those and it will place those. Uh, so, and then don't have all these other 12 hour times in there. So 60 of these, XX for the uh, agnostic hour and then uh, 0. 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, that sort of thing. And that will actually get you our agnostic times. Now, that's actually, I thought I would be able to do that here really fast, but actually that's going to take some time to put that all together and have it uh, not try to find these other 12-hour files. So you get the idea. Let me point you to where you get documentation on uh, this and other things you can do with voice uh, with time announcements. You can make them voiceovers, for instance. Uh, in Scheduler, go in the Help menu and go to the uh, Radiologic Scheduler Help, which will open a web browser. And this is an advanced feature, so go to Time Announce, and this explains the whole thing here. So that should be it.